Welcome back, generals. My name is the Crave. That is some more Hearts of Iron 4 playing as Germany. And I've done a little few things behind the scenes. As you can see here, I suddenly have insufficient resources. I need more tungsten. Well, I'm now importing more from Sweden than just that needs to update. But what I did was I changed over my uh, productions. I'm now producing the Panzer 3A. And because I was looking at, I, I knew that ships, you can have variants. So I was thinking, what can you use air experience on? You use it on better variants of your aircraft as well. So you can get better aircraft going. And I want to get better aircraft going, obviously, but I want to wait until we have a next level 1939 or 1940 aircraft before beefing that one up. And then I looked at armored vehicles and they can also get variants so a, instead of a regular Panzer 3 I created a variant of it the 3A that has bonus reliability bonus engine and bonus main gun if you look at the Panzer 3 if we add that here they have the same speed but they are 4% more reliable, so they're at 92% reliability, which means they're even less likely to explode in a fiery ball of death when lightly bumped. They have 1.5 attack soft, 1.4 hard, and 3 piercing bonus. It only cost me 30 as well, so that was good. So once we unpause, this should go away. There it goes. It does mean that our... Oh. I am. Uh, um, I stopped making these lights, um, the artillery, the self-propelled artillery, but they're mostly because I already have 100 in storage. So I'm not that worried right now, and we might actually get a new one before that time. I know this would be just regular self-propelled artillery, I'm assuming. Yeah, instead of the uh, light one from the Panzers. But for now, yeah, we should actually put just one on it, I suppose. So let's build the light artillery. And not yet. We will have a new factory soon enough, I think. Uh, reasonably soon. End of the month, so we'll wait for that one. We also almost have our extra synthetic oil factory. Consumer goods, toasters. That's nice. Hey, what is it? Oh no, those are our defensive troops. They have been deployed. Uh, yeah, the orange ones are of course the tanks. Oh man, we're soon going to have more. We're going to actually have 9 surplus oil. Which means we could stop trading oil from Romania altogether. Well, now we suddenly have a huge amount of influence because our relations are really good. That helps, I suppose. Chromium, we're getting quite a bit from Japan. We could. Wow! Turkey, you're producing a lot. That's nice. Um, so we have finished our synthetic factory. We're building a radar station that takes just over a month, actually. 3,600 to build versus. Yeah, it's actually cheaper to build a radar station than it is to build a military factory. The reason it's slower than the military factory is, of course, the fact we only have 12 factories assigned to it right now. Because we're using a lot in trade. Might not seem like... It might seem like a silly thing that way, but... It's already September. Wow. So they didn't land soon enough. 23 days. Wait, when? So 
27th. Yeah, it's going up. Thought it wasn't going up. Chief of the Navy, not our most important one. And over here, I think Gerd von Rundstedt in the military staff is a good choice. Is a all-round good choice. Next to Fernand Schörner and Erwin Rommel. Hermann Göring and Werner von Brauchitz. Brauchitz. Or Brauchitz. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely not certain how to pronounce this man's last name right now. Hess, Funk, and Tots. We are going to demand the Sudetenland from Czechoslovakia. We're working on their aviation efforts. Yeah, we finished that military factory, so we now have one working on the light artillery. It'll take some time before it's efficient again, though. The fighters aren't even efficient yet. Crazily enough. Put you up a little more. We do need 43 more anti-air. Oh, they're also not yet efficient. One medium tank a day now. That's the three A's. Oh lord. We need way more equipment production, really. Hmm. It's actually equipment that's currently not being made enough of. Strangely enough, I did not expect that. Now you can intel on enemy troops in nearby states. A higher radar or level in a state in increases the effective range. Also provides the state with better detection of enemy air forces, giving your planes a better chance to engage them. This is why I want to have one over here. There we go. Talks have been held in Munich between the leaders of Germany, Britain, France and Italy to discuss the future of Czechoslovakia. Both the British and French have accepted our claims to the Sudetenland as legitimate, and our previous offers of support to the Czechs have been rescinded. Recognizing the hopelessness of their situation, the Czechs have surrendered the Sudeten territories to us. Their oppressed, uh, their oppressed German inhabitants will at long last be brought into the Vaterland. The Munich Agreement. German demands for the Sudeten territory in Czechoslovakia, which is home to a considerable German minority, have intensified. At the summit held, yeah, that's the same. Mr. Chamberlain spoke to the crowds in London. For the second time, a Prime Minister has returned from Germany, bringing peace with honor. I believe it is peace for our time. Peace for now, at least. <laughs> um, that gave us two military factories to work with. I like that. I would like to have one more on medium tanks. And one on infantry weapons. This allows us to get to the next, the first Vienna Award. Danzig for Slovakia. Hmm, no. Definitely not. We could also reassert our German claim, or our Eastern claims. And it will be done in. Yeah, by the end of the year, actually. That's not bad. We will demand Mamel from Lithuania. Danzig and... What else? This one, Poznan. Yeah, these two regions will be demanded by us. Have we since deployed any more units? Yes, we have over here. Uh, which means I want one to go there. There you go. And we have our first medium panzer division. 
Now it is a good time to actually divide these two. Select half the current divisions. I did select these. Okay, so... Create a new one. So we have von Manstein in charge of one army. And I think Guderian is the next one. Rommel wasn't in charge early on. Okay, you need a different color though. Um, I don't have actual green yet. So... You will get... This one will have to go. Alright, I can just delete it. There we go. And I will stretch you a little bit further along. And all of them should be signed here. Six divisions. These seven will get the northern front line. Oops. Uh, I need to do this with control. No, I needed to do front line. There you go. And now we shall add you to the southern one. And also put you on that front line. Welcome to our first medium panzer division. Four medium tanks, four motorized infantry with a recon company, a engineer company and a support artillery. They have 24 artillery, 450 Austrian weapons by the way, 200 Opel Blitz, 40 support equipment, 157 Panzer 3s and well the Panzer 3As are now replacing the regular Panzer 3s. We will still have the Panzer 3s in the field, but the Panzer 3As are the only ones we're currently making, which means they will be the only one actually reinforcing. We have a free military factory, probably just built one. I guess we can use that to build more uh, bombers or fighters. Right now I want more fighters. I want everything more. Okay, that's... Yeah. We actually regained a civilian factory somewhere. Oh, pff, regained. Probably took it from Slovakia, Czechoslovakia. I wonder how Mamel looks. They... yeah, no, no idea. There. Hey, we can modify our government. So, as I said, von Rundstedt. That actually leaves us with just one more thing to be added to our military staff. And then I wonder what to do with the rest of it. Maybe change around some of these guys when we need to. I'm assuming Sweden is now maxed out. Relations are very high, which is nice. Romania is now 33% party ideology fascism. Huh. That's good. So we currently have a total army of not almost 9.5 million, but that is including those that are still in training. You. I'll add to this front line. 16 divisions now on the French border. Same thing with you. It will be set. Seventeen now. So 
So it's divided 17 and 10. Which is not bad at all. We have planes in reserve available. What do we have available? Junkers 87, 150. You know? How are we doing on this one? That's just fighters, that's tactical bombers. Um, oh. oh no, they are transferring from Oberbayern to Württemberg. We have transferred them. What do you have here? More tactical bombers, that's fine, but in the cone we have the close air support. Now the close air support will go up to 150. You don't need many more wings, you just need to just add them to your existing things. There you go. So we do have a weak fighter group, I think, up somewhere. So we now have 100 here, 120 here. Wow, that's a lot of fighters. Uh, ah, these guys, yes. These... Alright, I need to check this one, of course. We'll add your limit to 140. There we go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's almost December. I think that's when Interwar Artillery is nearly done. Graf Zeppelin, 56. Oh, January. Support Weapons, January. Computing Machine, January. Paratroopers, January. We've nearly gotten another military factory ready. Oh, wow. Storm over the Netherlands. There it is, a bonus factory. Now where to bloody put... We are actually finally getting closer on our artillery, but we are low on tungsten. So I cannot do anything that needs tungsten right now. Our anti-air need is filled. We still need more fighters. Uh, fighters would not be bad. I think right now more equipment. Because we still need 5,000. Because we're also continuously training troops. That is true. I think, actually, we are going to cancel the training of these two, though. As well as that one in the east. I do want the SS division. Because that will complement our uh, troops in the east. <laughs> There we go. Interwar artillery is done. Okay, so we could go improved artillery. That's actually very fast research, and it's... Uh, but I will wait until next year for that little tiny bit of extra difference. 190 days, 190 days. Only 90 days for more construction speed. Factory repair speed goes 50%. Okay. This is all just resource gain efficiency. Hmm. <laughs> now we won't get air aviation anytime soon. Let's do dive bombing. War looms over Europe. Soon enough. 
We have like 42 divisions on our border with Poland. That's a lot. And 27 with Belgium and France. So, I mean, look, we have 10, 4, 6, 4 versus 25. We have forts, so I'm not worried. It's a Belgian issue, though, but eventually we'll be able to bring almost all of our army over to the west from uh, this one. So that's good. And we have nearly, well, we have almost all the equipment done for our reserve divisions. Need a lot more here, though, for this one. But we're getting there for sure. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.